My name is Carbonetti. When you're on the street, you know, you're looking for something to keep your mind off things, to keep your mind off, off everything, basically. And, and like, the last thing that, that you want to do is really comprehend or have to face the fact uh, of what you're doing or what you're not doing and how pathetic you are. And painting the animals just gave me that opportunity uh, to forget. I met Carbonetti at the Metro Toronto Zoo last summer. He was dressed like a, like a street kid, like a bum. He was sitting on the ground in front of the animal cages painting. He had this amazing collection of paintings on his sleeping bag um, clustered around him. I thought the work was amazing. It was unlike anything I'd ever seen before. It was incredibly ugly, but at the same time, it was so truthful. There was nothing dishonest about it whatsoever. I was so excited about this guy's work that I let him stay at my house for the night. In a few days, I managed to scrape together enough money to rent him a studio to work in. I hired figure models for him and got them to wear animal masks in order to simulate the animals at the zoo. This led to uh, an interesting series of paintings where You've got these half-human, half-animal creations. Yeah, I tried to get back in the zoo the other day, but... Um, I guess that they don't like me there anymore. I, I think they think I'm a threat to the gift shop. So, then why do you want to go back there? Well, that was my major inspiration. That's when I started painting. That's when I started creating, and that's when I went through a whole uh, change in my life. And. The animals really uh, affected me, and uh, they still affect me now. I still paint them now, and to go back there is just a reminder of where everything sort of came to be, and where I came to be. Tell me about the uh, painting behind you. Uh, well, this one's called The Suicide Monkey, and well, I always try to look through the animal's perspective through the animal's eye, and what I think is being neg neglected or has been neglected is that animals actually feel emotions, that they may get depressed, they may get hurt, they may feel, you know, sadness or guilt, anything like that. And I think we usually just associate them with, you know, eating, reproducing, and, and fucking. And I tried to, to show from a different perspective that maybe this, you know, animal or any animal could, uh, you know, feel the need to kill themselves, you know, it's just like the most extreme kind of emotion. And uh, I think it's probably possible. I Actually, I'm just going to take that. Sorry. Hello? Yes? Yeah? Okay, how are you? No, I'm, I'm great. That's... Okay. So, in, in January? No, I can, that's, no, I can send out paintings as, as soon as you want. I can send out, I have several that I can send out some slides if you'd like. Okay. Uh, that's no. That's th thank you very much. Okay. So yeah, call me. I'll be in all day today. You can call me back later to give me the details if you, if you like. You can fax them. Okay. Great. Thank you. Take care. Who was that? That was uh, Rupert Winter from from uh, the gallery Gallery Winter. I think he said in uh, Switzerland, Zurich, Switzerland. I, I sent him some stuff about you know four months ago. I didn't think anything would come out of it, but. Uh, it did, and you know, he wants to give me a show at his gallery, Gallery Winter, uh, January. Yes. yes, the first time I see Congo's work was in New York. I was at the uh, gallery friends of mine. I see a pamphlet of Congo. I was totally blown away by his work. It captivated me. So I make arrangements for Congo to come to Switzerland, where I arrange for him to have a studio to paint more paintings and to be surrounded with a uh, nice atmosphere for painting paintings. A very important show coming very soon. We have not made final dates, but the show will be in Tokyo, Japan. It's the biggest gallery in Japan. Come down that day, taking up a whole floor of Congo. It's going to be very interesting. We've got Congo, 
Opening night can go, we'll be doing art, performance, showing people can go in the flesh. You see the wheel can go, not just paintings on the wall, you see wheel can go. <laughs> I like the story. I thought it was kind of a, a, a fun thing to discover an unknown artist, and uh, it seems to be being picked up in larger circles, somewhat like Basquiat in uh, New York, and um, and that he's a very young artist was kind of interesting also, and a rarity in Canada. We, we, we sort of don't seem to make art stars very often. I think we ought to do it more often. trying to show uh, the feeling that perhaps animals shouldn't be so caged up, they should be in a more natural environment, and uh, we impose ourselves on animals an awful lot, and he obviously relates to that very uh, strongly, and um, so I, I liked his, the reason why he was painting animals, and I thought they had a lot of uh, passion and a lot of humor. This painting is called The Monkey's Picnic by Congonati. If Robert Bateman had a rebellious young son, it would be Congo, because this is not a pretty picture of an animal at all. In fact, it's a terrifically ugly picture of an animal. But the more we look at it, the more we realize that it too has its own truth to tell. There's the monkey right there in the foreground, a female painted in the strongest red that he could muster up from his discarded palette. She seems to breathe life, if only by the vibrancy of the coloring alone. And then we see the male monkey in the background, jealously guarding her, painted black, snarling, looking out of the corner of its eye. And then we begin to realize that this picture wasn't painted from the point of view of a man at all. It was painted from the point of view of a male monkey. And how else would a male monkey see a female other than desire, red-hot desire? all together is, is the bottom line is he's a good painter he he knows how to construct an image which is very uh, very complete and it's its own complete world um, that's something that can't be faked I mean they say that a, a technician can be learned but a painter is born um, Congo Nadi is definitely a painter mm -hmm. 